Hello, my loves. Welcome to your love reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Um, I hope everyone is happy, safe, healthy, and doing well. All right, I am done chewing your ear off. So guys, like, share, comment, subscribe, click that notification bell. So Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Leos, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Leos, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Leos, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Leos, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. So we're going to do a you versus them. I have to fix this tablecloth. It's driving me nuts. All right. So we have the Seven of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles. Virgo energy, pre-empress energy. We have the Chariot, Cancerian energy. The Three of Swords. The Six of Pentacles. The Six of Cups and the Star, Aquarian Energy. All right, so Leo, so for whoever's on this side, I feel like someone here has been procrastinating when it comes down to making a decision. Someone here is in limbo or on the fence, however way you want to put it, between the past and the present. So I feel like what this person does is they try to kind of push away to remain single so that they don't have obligation to the new and they don't have obligation to the past because they don't really know where they want to go yet. This person has to choose between you and a third party. Now, it could, well, it could be Leo that you have to choose between this person. And so this, whoever's on this side is trying to hold back from committing to any one person because they're still on the fence. Six of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. There is, you know, I feel like this person breadcrumbs, they, they give one person a little and they give the other person a little. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, with the star card here, this person doesn't know what they want. They're trying to figure it out. They're trying to, you know what I'm saying, figure out what their wish fulfillment is, where they want to go, what they want to do. Spirit, what messages do we have here for my Leos, please? Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Leos. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. The Nine of Swords. Yeah, you see, this person, whoever's on this side, has a lot of anxiety, and it hits them the most at night, okay? They may even have nightmares. Um, so that is why this person maybe keeps people at a distance. The Nine of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. So... I feel like this person is very guarded. They keep to themselves. They're very protective of their business, what they're doing. This person, like if you're with this person or if this person's with you, they come off as like, are you even in this relationship? You know what I'm saying? They come off as almost just a single independent, like, like they're not even in a relationship. And they do this because they have, you know, something else going on. See, seven of swords and the chariot. Leo, this person is lying, cheating, being deceptive. And again, it could be you, Leo, for all I know. Three of Swords and the Lover's card. Gemini Energy. There's definitely three people in this picture. Six of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces Energy. And the Six of Cups to the Justice card, Libra Energy. I feel like there's two people in the picture. You've got this Queen of Cups energy, and you have this uh, car. It looks like there's an, an ex that might be a karmic. Tell me about the star card. Four of Swords. Yeah, I feel like someone here is just tired. They're just tired. At the end of the day, someone here is trying to just heal, recover, and figure out what they want. Like someone here maybe is trying to do right by an ex. They're trying to gain forgiveness from an ex or an ex is trying to get forgiveness from them. Balance out the scales with an ex, breadcrumbing this water sign. Um, if they're even, you know, they, they don't have to be a water sign. It could just be someone who's in love. Um, 
Yeah, that, that's what we have here. Someone's breadcrumbing two situations because they don't know what they want. Oh, boy. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides. Clarity, guidance, and love messages. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Leos, please. Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Leos, please, spirit. Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Leos. So here we have the Ace of Swords and the Strength card. Leo energy. Here we are, King of Wands, more Leo energy. Could be Aries, um, could be Sag. The Ace of Wands, the Ace of Cups. The King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy and the three of wands so now we've got the king to the queen of cups on the board so we do have a true pair here so yeah the person that's on this side sees the blockage they see that this person here Okay, isn't really letting go and, and giving to the connection. They're not, you know, allowing themselves to fall in love. You know, you can tell when someone's like holding back, right? So they feel that. They feel that. This person thinks that this King of Wands energy, that this person here started sleeping with someone new or started talking to somebody new. And we have this water sign here again that is giving, I feel like the, the Queen of Cups, the King of Cups, whatever this water sign is, is the newer person with that Ace of Cups. And this, this Queen of Cups or this King of Cups energy here is just sitting there like wondering like, what's happening? <laughs> like they, they're, they're just sitting around waiting like, like to get what they want. And what they want is they're king to the queen of cups. They want this connection to come together. But I feel that this person maybe believes that their person started sleeping with or talking to somebody new. They don't know it's an ex just yet. They don't, they don't know. Um, not that it makes a difference. You know what I'm saying? Not that it makes a difference. But I feel like this person knows that something's up, definitely. Tell me about this ace of swords, please. The Eight of Pentacles, the Strength card, and the Knight of, excuse me, the, no, that's the Knight of Swords, the Knight of Swords. So what we have happening here is we have somebody that is aware that they're putting a lot of work into a situation with somebody who's very flighty. Somebody who's here today, gone tomorrow. This is like someone who's in the relationship today and then they don't answer you for two days. Or they're here today and then they come back a totally different person two days from now. King of Wands to the Ten of Wands. Ace of Wands and the Strength card, Leo Energy. Yeah, I feel like this King of Wands energy um, is a little overwhelmed at the moment is a little overwhelmed at the moment. They did start talking to the ex, do you understand? Um, and that caused them to pull back because they don't know what they want. Ace of Cups and the Seven of Wands. So now, you know, this energy here is feeling it. You see how we see the Seven of Wands right here? This person here is feeling this King of Wands pull away. They're feeling it. Do you understand? Uh, Page of Swords and the King of Cups. See, um, this King of Cups energy is aware. It's painful, but they see the truth. They see, they see the change in this person. Three of Wands and the Three of Cups. So, yeah, this, per, you know, Three of Wands, Three of Cups. You know, this person's wondering, am I in a third party? What's happening here? You know what I'm saying? What's, I don't understand what's, what's going on. You know, um, I feel like maybe someone doesn't have solid proof at the moment. So everything's just kind of hanging in limbo, but there is an awareness, especially if you're dealing with a water sign because, or you have water in your chart because, you know, water signs are very intuitive. Um, what is the challenge here, please? Two of Wands. Someone here has to make a choice. And Temperance. Sagittarian Energy. And the Nine of Wands. Yep. So someone here, I feel, is guarding a secret. They're very defensive. Um, 
with temperance if this person whoever has to make this decision if they want peace in their life they just have to make the decision but it's hard for them it's hard for them to make this decision if they're, they're overwhelmed see nine of wands ten of wands the person that has to make this decision is truly overwhelmed the outcome we have the four of wands ten of wands again and the eight of swords look nine of wands ten of wands ten of wands i don't think they're going to make a decision it's hard for this person to commit to any one person um I feel like it's hard for this person to be stable because they're over they're in their head overwhelmed knowing that there's someone else in the picture and it's hard for this person to be stable because they can't get the other third party out of their head so I don't see a decision being made hidden motivations and the vast universe yeah what this person is hiding is that there's a situation that still has to get closed out okay this what this person isn't telling you is that there's someone from the past or leo what you're not telling your person is that there is someone from the past that still has to be closed out um we have one person here that is really giving a lot of love okay one so we've got one person that is really truly opening their heart giving true love real love and this person what they're hiding is is that they still have to end something happy family patience and deceit so I feel like this person does want a happily ever after with somebody, but while they decide who's that with, who that's with, everyone needs to be patient while they sit there and lie to everybody. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? While they sit there and lie to everybody. You know, th this person wants that type of outcome, but they're being patient, trying to figure out what they want. And because they're doing that, this is turning into a lying uh, disaster express your love and new love go ahead and make the romantic gesture a new person has stirred your romantic interest so i feel like whoever that now you may be the new love here leo or you may have a newer person the fact of the matter is is that there is real love with the new person you see here we have a true soul type we've got the king to the queen of cups we've got that ace of cups here there's a newer person in the picture and that's where the love is that's where the love is um i feel like this past person is a karmic got to be because we got the justice card uh, a karmic past life soulmate and that's why this person and it's a karmic cycle that has to be closed out with that vast universe there so it's not like there's not love in this newer connection it's just someone has to make that decision and they're hard okay these type of relationships these karmic relationships are really hard to close out um but you know they have to do it they have to do it because you know whoever the whoever this newer love is is not going to wait forever okay i love you guys take care bye oh and don't forget to subscribe to the new channels bye